Hello everyone, welcome to Ada the Cat. We believe everything could be simplified. Today we are going to check a couple of options as an alternative to Microsoft Visio. If you would like to create flowchart diagrams, UML diagrams, or other SOP diagrams. So if we go to Google and if we search for alternative to Visio, it will list a couple of options and we are going to try some of them. Today we are going to mainly focusing on online applications. The first one, Lucid Chart, it is an online application. So if we go to their website, you will need to register first and it will list a couple of like paid options, but you can just ignore that and go for the free option. With the free option, you can create up to three diagrams. So I'll quit, just delete one. And I will delete both of them. And I will start it from scratch. So Lucy Chart has some of the templates. So for example, if I want to create like a flow chart, so these are the options that I can choose from. I can also choose from like business models, business templates, or UML ones, or even iOS ones. So it has quite a few templates which you can choose from, and it's very convenient. I also have AWS ones as well. So just as a demonstration, I will just choose a simple organization chart create document, it will create a new window. You can see the template is being loaded. So in here, we can add in the new pictures and then we can modify the person's name. So for example, this one. I'll put like Jane Hobbs. And then this is basically how you can create it and if we go back we can choose another one you say I want to create like a business process flow template and then I'll create document so this flowchart is created so this is a template I can add in more chart and then edit the process. So I can modify the template. So this is quite convenient file. So let's see how we can save it or export it. So we can download it as PDF, PNG or JPG. So this is quite convenient. So this is the first one, the Lucy chart. Let's go to the second one, which is Critly. This is an online application as well. So I have already registered. You will need to put your email and then your first last name and to sign up. So this is my account. And if I go to the app, I will say I want to create new. If they ask you to pay for it, you can just ignore it. So here is the new applications, and then if I say create a diagram, it will ask me what do I plan to draw, if I say UML. And then let's choose object diagrams. So what do you like to start with? I can choose a black diagram or a template. I will choose the template. I'll use this one. So what am I going to name it? I will name it like a bank account UML, just as an example. So create a document. So we can see that the diagram has already been created. I can change the class name. So I will say bank. And I can change the name of the field. 
balcony. So I can also add in other chars or arrows or other shapes here. I can save it online, so to save. I can also export it. Unfortunately, export as a PDF is only available for paid plans, but you can export it as a PNG or JPG as a picture. So this is the second one, which is creatively. Creatively. Pencil project. Pencil project is a console, so it's something that you need to download it to your PC, and install it as a as a desktop application. So if we go to this, you can see that this is downloaded. So it has Mac version. Today we are going to mainly focusing on the online ones, so I will going to skip this one. Draw.io is an online application as well, so if we go to that one. I have already registered, as I mentioned, as usual, if you want to use it. Usually, we'll ask you to register first. So, if I say create a new diagram, so I'll name it as new one. So, Draw.io doesn't have any templates, so you will need to create it from scratch. So, if say I want to create like a UML. And then I can change the name of the UML as bank bank account. And I can add in the relationship. And if say I want to create another diagram, there are other shapes that I can choose from. So you can get in more shapes. You can add in more shapes like iOS. Mockups. And then we can see that this added in. And you can choose this. You can choose from these ones. You can also use this to create swimming lane, but it's just more like you have to create it from scratch. So this is swimming lane diagram. And you can add in all the other shapes or components. So this is Joel. Here the graph editor is a desktop application which you need to download as well. So today we're going to skip this one and we're mainly focusing on the online one. But if you're interested, you can look at their demo. There is a demo as of how to use their application. And then the XMind. This one needs to be downloaded as well. The interface looks good. It's very clean and structured. And if you want to give it a try, please feel free. And there are also have versions on mobile. Gliffy. Gliffy is an online drawing as well, so we can give it a try. This needs to be registered. So, yeah. 
you just need to register and then give it a try. Gliffy, I have tried, but it's kind of like simple, so it doesn't have much template that you can use. It's quite easy to use. And if you want to create some complicated ones, probably the first couple of ones with templates are preferred. Google Join. This is a very simple one as well, so it doesn't have complicated ones, so it doesn't even have the diagram. It doesn't, it has some of the diagram, but not the complicated ones. It has hierarchy and then timelines. relationship but I don't see like your UML or swimming like this kind of diagram if you want to use you can also insert the shapes to create your own You can also create the charts or tables and add it all in your diagram. So this looks to me is a very simple one. So if you want to create some complicated diagram, probably the first couple ones are preferred. So this is pretty much the alternative to Microsoft Visual. And today we are mainly focusing on the online applications. I hope it helps, and if you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.